My name is Ashad Ghazi. Um, I am a Skokie resident. I've uh, been living here for 29 years since I was born. My name is Allison Ashley, and I've been a Skokie resident since 1988. I uh, am passionate about taking care of the earth. When we waste food, we might not think that, you know, there is a lot going on, but there is definitely um, a lot of ne negative outcomes. For example, uh, when we waste food, they end up in landfills. And um, over the years, there is a, uh, a greenhouse gas called methane that is produced. Well, my wife and I actually, we've been married for five years. In the beginning, you know, we would just kind of uh, think of what meals we wanted to eat and purchase what, what we think we needed. And then quickly realized that a lot of that food that we did purchase ended up going to waste. So there are some challenges with uh, trying to reduce food waste. Uh, the main thing is, for me, is forgetting what I already have or like buying something that I already had. I would suggest taking a few moments and simply taking an inventory of what's already in your pantry, in your freezer, in your refrigerator and, and write it down. Then do some meal planning before you go shopping at the grocery store or at the farmer's market so that you only buy what you need for the meals. When you're grocery shopping, uh, make sure you're not hungry because a lot of times, uh, you know, I'm sure many of you have uh, witnessed this, that when you're hungry, you kind of tend to purchase things you don't need. And then quickly after, if you have a meal, you're like, man, I have all this stuff left here. Why did I buy it all? So, you know, before you go grocery shopping, try getting uh, some food in your system. Uh, by planning out our meals, uh, now we're able to, you know, save space, uh, save money and uh, save food. And that way we're not, you know, contributing to climate change. And then we also then compost our food scraps. And we use collective resources and have found it to be so easy and in addition to food scraps, they take paper and lint from the dryer and the end of wooden pencils, anything like that goes in. And, and we've been very happy. And then in the spring, we get their finished compost back to use in the garden. I found this to be a, a small thing, but an important way that we can help take care of the earth and it helps our our, our food budget as well.